Hello guys and welcome to this episode 4 of our Football Manager series. Pedro here, uh, excited to have you along with us. Um, so um, we're going to continue uh, in this episode uh, with our Gillingham save and uh, we're hoping to start the new season uh, in this episode uh, and look at the first game of the season um, when we face um, face off against uh, Southend, a bit of a local rivalry there, um, so we're looking forward uh, to that. Um, you may recall in the last episode uh, I looked at the training uh, aspects of the game and uh, we also made uh, a couple of signings. In the last episode uh, we signed uh, Anthony Gerrard and uh, we also signed uh, Jindrik Stanek, who's um, our, uh, possibly our third choice goalkeeper, uh, a bit of a young one to, to watch out for. Um, so in this episode, I'm hopefully going to finalise uh, my squad, um, maybe with uh, one or two new signings, uh, and then hopefully going to kick off with new season and see how we get on in our very first game. Um, so first of all, now this was uh, left in the comment section uh, of the channel, uh, that, that we should look to sign a defensive midfielder um, before the start of the season. I totally agree with that, sort of looking at the squad. Um, if I go to general over here, we can see a bit more. Um, if I go to general, you can sort of see that whilst we do have uh, a few defensive midfielders, um, actually a lot of these players, players like Mike, Mark Byrne, Jake Hessen Tyler, um, and even Emmanuel Osadebi, um, both of those, um, or all of those, sorry, play uh, predominantly in the midfield, sort of centre midfield range. Um, and we've got a couple of defenders who can do a job there, but I, I want to sign a, another. Uh, sort of out and out defensive midfielder looking at our um, tactics here which is going quite well uh, as you can see um, we do have two um, two positions there so so we could do with an extra defensive midfielder uh, I believe uh, for, for the season just to give us a bit of extra cover uh, perhaps now um, looking at our uh, our positions here we've got or our role sorry we've got a deep line playmaker uh, Josh Wright is sort of fulfilling that role he's very comfortable in that role as well um, and uh, we've got the defensive midfielder position here um, so I'm going to look for someone that can play um, in that role uh, and is going to be comfortable in that role as well so heading over to our scouting section uh, I'm going to obviously use the um, the conditions here and the, the um, sort of formula here I think of the right word then formula is probably not the right word uh, but I'm going to use that to, to help narrow down our, our search so we want someone that's going to be a natural at playing defensive midfielder and then the role um, for them as well is going to be a defensive midfielder now with roles we've got several different roles that we can choose from um, from defence midfielder, deep line playmaker, ball winning midfielder, all of those can fit in amongst that position of, of defence midfielder. Um, they're just different roles. We're looking for an out and out defence midfielder. The first one that comes up is this guy here, Ben Close. Um, my scouts already scouted him actually and gives a pretty good recommendation. Uh, you will notice here that he's injured, so let's have a look. He's going to be out for five to seven weeks with a hip injury. Um, so it would be a little bit of a uh, of a gamble, uh, if I'm being honest. He is uh, he's 19 years old, um, and he's currently at Portsmouth. So he's also going to be a little bit expensive, which is a shame actually, because I think he could develop into um, into quite a good player for us. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, probably give him a, a miss. Unfortunately, at this um, this moment, and um, let's just have a little look. See, so we can change this to say that you know his competitor that can play. And see if that unlocks a few extra people. It does just seem that at the minute, um, actually, we've only got this guy on our radar. That's all that's available to us. That's the only person that um, is known to us as a club. Um, now there's a couple of things that we can do. Obviously, we can change our searches, um, or the other thing that we can do is we can look to come up here and create an assignment for our scouts. So we're going to send our, our scouts to look for um, a first team player um, that is a defensive midfielder and the role of defensive midfielder. Um, so we'll go and we'll inform chief scouts of the requirements. And then I'm going to make this urgent because we obviously want to sign somebody uh, before the end of the season. Now you can play around with these different uh, sort of attributes to, to make sure that you know the scouts are going to recommend the, the right players or the players that are going to fit into your side. Uh, we're going to leave it quite <laughs> sort of open at the moment, um, but just really specify that the position needs to be defensive midfielder 
and they need to play in the role of a, as a defensive midfielder as well. Current ability, I want to look for two and a half stars to potential ability. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep that at four stars there. Uh, and I'm then going to just start that assignment. And uh, hopefully, the Chief Scout is going to send somebody off um, to go looking for this player um, as a matter of urgency. And we should start seeing some reports coming through. Um, so keep an eye out for this, and um, hopefully, we'll be able to sign someone soon. Hopefully, we'll have a few more people on our radar. And, um, and yeah, we can go from there. Now, uh, just looking at our. Uh, staff section so I know we covered that a little bit a couple of episodes ago so just to give you an update um, as to where we are um, at the moment in our coaching team obviously it's looking a lot better um, we've got that goalkeeping coach uh, in the end we've also got he head of uh, youth development uh, a couple of other coaches and a fitness coach as well um, so it's just giving us a real better overview um, of our coaching team uh, and yeah it's obviously paying, paying benefits already um, to the squad especially in pre-season uh, scouting team we've got a chief scout we've got a normal scout and we've got a chief data analyst um, as well as a director of football so scouting team again um, has been increased and medical staff we've got five medical staff that's head physio a couple of other physios and a sports scientist so hopefully um, they're gonna hopefully reduce um, both the injuries that we're getting and also the amount of time that our players are injured for Finally, uh, of the season or, or of the pre-season um, so I'm just going to recap just some of the highlights we did play Boreham Wood um, we did uh, win this 3-1 let's um, so just have a look at some of the highlights here and um, just see how we got on the first goal absolutely brilliant goal uh, plays it out to not and then he slots it in assists perfectly for Rory Donnelly and then slots it in the corner puts it on the absolute plate for him this was the second goal here Again, not very much linked in again comes out to Dak and he hits it from the edge of the box goalkeeper's a little bit unlucky there should have done better um, but nevertheless a great finish this is the third goal you know, aim and just finding loads of space at the back from that free kick Jake Hess and Tyler playing it in and this was their goal there should have done better there should have defended better for, from that situation um, but 3-1 three 3-1's one. good good uh, um, yeah, good way to finish pre-season and should set us up in, in good stead um, for uh, yeah for the first game of the season against South End. So just to update you, uh, just in the break there, just what I've been doing, uh, I have made a couple of um, couple of signings and there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of news actually. Some some bad news first of all. Uh, Anthony Gerrard um, has picked up an injury. It's a pulled hamstring. And it's going to be out for another two to three weeks. He's going to miss the start of um, start pre-season. Which is a is a bit gutting, but um, yeah, we'll just have to, to get by and see sort of what we can do without uh, without him. Now, um, you may sort of remember a couple of episodes ago, I was looking at affiliate clubs. Um, some good news: we have got a senior affiliate, and look at that, it's Arsenal. Um, so, we're going to have access to some really good uh, sort of young players coming through there that are going to send to us on loan, uh, and then we've got a um, yeah a. Uh, another affiliate club where we can send players on loan to and that's Dartford so that's going to help us uh, really develop our, our own young talent. Uh, but with uh, that partnership with Arsenal gave us the opportunity to sign a couple of players on loan um, so we've made a couple of signings. The first one is this guy here Jedian Zelalim. Uh, Jedian Zelalim so that's what we're going to call him. Um, he is 19 years old, he's American uh, valued at 575,000 um, and plays in that sort of advanced playmaker role uh, from sort of the, the centre of midfield. Um, similar sort of player to Bradley Dack, I thought he was going to provide good cover um, and a good option to, to bring from, from the bench. And I remember Bradley Dack is worth 5.5 million, um, so I kind of had a little bit of an eye of, you know, do we sell him um, at some point throughout this season? Well, this guy has come to us, he's not cost us anything. It's good, good thing with the affiliate partnerships. Now to sell, uh, buy this guy and get this guy in for, on a season long loan and he's not cost us a penny. Um, so it was an absolute no brainer really. Uh, the other player that we have got from them is uh, Christian Bielik. Um He's from Poland and he is a centre back. He's an 18 year old, yeah, worth 400,000. Uh, and again, he's come to us um, on the free. Now obviously that's great news, him signing an extra centre back with uh, Anthony Gerrard. Um, being out for a little while so um, yeah he can possibly um, do a job for us as well now looking at his career history he's had a few appearances already 
um, in some of the Polish leagues before joining Arsenal for 2.5 million. Um, so it could be a real sort of talent that we can use this season. Now, unfortunately, with the defensive midfielder situation, scouts have still not been able to come up with anyone else uh, other than Ben Close. Um, so I'm going to sort of wait on that for a little bit longer, um, just to give the scouts a little bit more chance to see um, if there is anyone out there that we can sign that fits the bill. Um, I'm not going to jump in to just sign in anyone at this stage. Um, and um, yeah, I've already checked Arsenal, they haven't got anybody. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, this uh, this go to the first game of the season we're taking on South End United um, and uh, yeah it's going to be a, a great game just sort of looking at you know they've got Phil Brown as their manager 57 years old obviously got a lot of experience very successful manager uh, obviously there's no previous meetings between these sides obviously there has been but in this game there's no previous meetings so um, it's very much as a, as a clean slate for both of us um, stepping into a little bit of the unknown that's what I love about the first game of the season actually you never really know how it's going to go you know, pre-season has been great um, but you never know how it's going to go for it from here on in um, so on the pick the team in goal for Russ has got to be Jonathan Bond he's been absolutely superb um, in, uh, in pre-season so he's going to be our first choice now uh, right back now looking at some of the condition of the people again in terms of the player that's played really well in pre-season uh, it has to be Ryan Jackson um, he's sort of our natural right back to be honest with your wing back um, in real life and I think he's going to do a job here now centre of defence this is um, uh, an area where um, obviously Anthony Gerrard would have been sort of one of the people that we would have slotted straight in there um, but I think first choice has to be Max Aimer. Uh, again, he's performed really well in pre-season um, and looks pretty solid there. Uh, and then um, I'm a bit tossed between these two. Do I go for Bailey Cargill or Deji Osilaja? Um, I think just on the basis of the condition and um, the shape, I'm going to go for Bailey Cargill. Um, yeah, joining Max Aimer in defence. And then left back, so we've got experience in Paul Koncheski, um, but we've also got young Bradley Garmston who's been doing uh, doing pretty well in pre-season. Um, again, his condition's not that great though, he's not, he's not really done so well um, in getting his fitness levels up in pre-season. So uh, for the time being, I'm going to go for Paul Koncheski uh, at a left back. Defensive midfielder, obviously we talked about that quite a bit um, uh, and sort of looked at the different positions. I'm going to go for Josh Wright as a deep line playmaker uh, and then joining him uh, in defensive midfielder um, position on the other side I'm then going to go for uh, Emmanuel Osadebi um, again he's done quite well in recent games I'm going to pop him now centre of midfield this guy almost picks himself it's going to be Bradley Dack um, he is at the moment our club captain as well uh, with Anthony Gerrard being now Anthony Gerrard uh, I've made club captain um, with uh, Bradley Dack being vice captain so Bradley Dack's going to, going to slot in there now on the uh, right side, let's take midfielder right side. Again, Jay Emmanuel Thomas has popped up with a few goals um, so far in pre-season. I'm going to start him on that side. On the left-hand side, um, I'm going to look at putting, um, again, I'm a little bit torn between if you're using Billy Knott or Frank Nublin. Billy Knott has um, done some fantastic assess, assists. Frank Nubley's popped in with a couple of goals. So um, it's, it is a, it's a hard pick, but I'm going to go Frank Nubley. Um, for this game and then up top we've got either Rory Donnelly or um, Cody McDonald and uh, again just based on the condition and shape I'm going to go Rory Donnelly to start us off with subwise and sub bench let's have a look obviously we want the goalkeeper on there first of all um, and then there's Josh Larger and I'm going to put the two new players um, on there and hopefully give them a run out see where they fit. Two new players. Got three more spots. Let's have a look. We're on Cody McDonald's another striker on there. And then it's got to be Billy Knott, Scott Wag Wagstaff really. Here we go, so this is gonna be our lineup for the first game of the season. I'm excited to see how we get on. Wow look Match squad can have no more than five lone players, and it currently has six. Didn't know about that rule. Right, so <laughs> I need to lose one of them. Um, <coughs> all right. Who do we lose? This is a tough question. I think it's going to have to be. Uh, it's going to 
going to have to be this guy. Zelalem, he's going to have to be dropped dropped out of the squad. Uh, I'm going to replace him uh, with Mark Burner. It's a sort of little bit of a light for light replacement. Uh, it's a little bit gutted, but um, we have to do what we have to do. So here we go. Squad number needs to be given to this guy. Let's give him uh, number 27. And here we go. The season is underway, and we are uh, playing in red. Um, in this, we are the away side playing at Roots Hall against Southend. We are in red uh, for this game. Let's see how we get on. No, so we've just gone the goal down and uh, not the start we was looking for. Okay, it crosses it in. And defenders don't clear. Comes to Cox. And it's an easy finish for him just outside the six yard box. So not a good start, but can we pull it around? Still lots of time left in this game. Okay, it's half time, we are 1 0 down at the moment. And um, not really playing too fantastically, it has to be said. Ryan Jackson, quite complimentary at the start um, of the game uh, about him, but he's having an absolute shocker at the minute. He's rated at 6.1. Um, yeah, arguably part of the blame for the first goal. Um, so I'm going to switch him with Desi Argelaja um, to start us off. Now I'm going to keep the, the rest of the team as they are, um, but I'm going to make a few changes. First of all, I'm going to try and encourage them for the second half. Unfortunately, it is only uh, uh, it is only one nil, so uh, can definitely still get back into this. But they obviously need to start changing things. Uh, best performer was probably Bradley Dack, actually. You know, he had a good couple of chances, um, hit the woodwork a couple of times actually. So, so he, he can still do a job. But Manuel Osa Debbie as well wasn't too sure about picking him, but he's uh, right as the best player so far for us. Um, so hopefully we can um, yeah pull it around in the second half. Uh, let's have a little look at the. Um, our tactics, if there's anything that we might want to change here. Uh, let's have a look. I'm try and work in the ball into the into the box. I might try and have a little look at uh, some hits and early crosses into Donnelly. Let's see how we get on with that to start us off with. So there we have it guys, that is the full time whistle for this game uh, and uh, indeed this episode. Uh, disappointing start to the season unfortunately, 1-0 um, defeat against Southend but you know towards the end of the second half especially there was some positives uh, and certainly something that we can build on um, and um, yeah overall disappointed with the result, not too disappointed with the, um, the performance and I'm sure that we can turn it around in the next few games. Um, so thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, please make sure that you do uh, like, comment, and subscribe uh, in the uh, in the boxes below. And also don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, um, the link uh, for which is in the description uh, box below. Uh, I will be streaming uh, hopefully a couple of times a week and um, looking at uh, Football Manager as well um, within that stream. So make sure that you are um, checking that out uh, and. Um, yeah, be sure to follow us on there. So that's all for this week. Thanks very much for watching and take care, guys.